Are you guys done? What's happening? Is it all cleaned up in the back though? She literally left. I have videos from standing. Good at morning, guys. Welcome <laughs> to today. This is what sibling robbery looks like in the 21st century. When, you're, when your sibling does something inappropriate, you video them with your phone so that when you have to tell on them, you have video proof. Sophie, were you helping? Yes. <laughs> she breaks out the, the video surveillance. And before I took this, she was standing there for like, a while. I was cleaning my area. Oh. No, said, no. Oh. Her oh. area was like that big. Oh, all right. Well, we believe you. <laughs> we can't see it. No, there's her just. Well, she's working. Barely. She's working. Before all these, she was just standing. Good at morning, guys. Welcome to today's video that started out with a bang. Uh, Gabby, let's show them your coffee. I asked Gabby, oh, can I, I was going up to the house and asked the girls, can I get you anything? And Gabby said, a coffee. Let's show them your coffee. It is, it had caramel on the top and whipped cream and nice. iced coffee and I made that. And Sophie said, all I want is for you to put my dog in the house because it's hard for me to work and watch her. And did I do it? No. No, because. She just ran back there. <laughs> yeah, she only goes with Sophie. She is a one woman a dog. She goes with me. Yeah, she goes with Gabby too. All right, so let's show you guys what we've been up to this morning. Come on guys, follow along. So you guys know that we're having a, a um, barbecue this weekend with a lot of family and friends. So I cleaned up this whole area where we have our fire pit. My son Nick has been over a bunch of times. He might come today and he's been chopping wood. <laughs> he's been doing a great job. This is all we have, we have that. So Sam is going to be on wood duty before the weekend. I'm one of those people that always bites off more than I can chew. I'm always like, yeah, let's have a big, huge group of people over and we're not even ready. We're not even ready. I wasn't expecting rain all week. This is really so the thing that I asked the girls to do, I have a plan, you guys. I asked them to clean up this section of the girls' field. Okay, so literally, this part Let's not tattle. Let's not tattle. This part with Sophia's. Good. She did a great job. No. I did this, that, that. All that. I that little corner there because Sophia didn't do that. All right. So anyways, it looks pretty good. Not too bad. So tomorrow, my plan, my plan is tomorrow to feed the horses back here. Because I raked it up. This is how it's my dog. As she I stays with me. Sister. Yeah, her dog stays with her. All right, so my plan is to feed the horses out here tomorrow, all around in here, and then clean all the old hay and stuff on that section. So that's what we're gonna do tomorrow. It's supposed to rain. So yeah, who knows? Gracie's like, I'll just hang with you guys because you're my friends. The weirdest thing happened. What's so, the weirdest thing? Did you hear voices, Sophie? Tell us. No. I was chilling in the arena. We're, we're waiting for Gabby to come down so we can do this. And Willow just stayed there with me. Aww. And then I took Willow's feet and then she went back out. Oh, see, horse, animals tell. Animals tell you what they need if you just listen. The craziest thing happened to us yesterday. Yesterday, we were all just minding our own business, working and doing the things that we needed to do in the house. And all of a sudden, our mama chicken started screeching. And this is what she does. And I always know if she screeches, there's a problem. She needs something. So I sent Sophie out there. I said, Sophie, go and check our mama chicken. So she checked her and everything was fine. She had fresh food and fresh water and everything was good. And there was no reason for her to be screaming. And so she came back inside, but the chicken kept screaming. So I went out and I went through all the checklists. Her water was good, her food was good. Everything was good. I was like, are you too cold? Like, what is the problem, chicken? And then I, she went over to her food bowl and she touched it with her beak and I was like, do you need me to fix it? So she has like, they have the kind of food bowl that just has little holes all in a circle, kind of like a hummingbird feeder, just like a bunch of circles. And the food was like kind of packed down a little. It was full, but not like overflowing full like she's used to. It wasn't loose, it was kind of packed down. And so I took her feeder and she let me. Usually she pick, pecks me if I put my hands in there. And I dumped out all that food and I filled it up so that it was all loose and, and easier for her to get. And I put it in there and she ran to it and she took her babies to it and they started eating. And she never made another sound. And it's like, 
if you just listen, it just boggles the mind how animals actually tell you what they need. I want to do something just I don't want to land in the poop. Uh, well, if you land in the poop, it would be funny, so do it. I want to pretend to paint and see the reaction. All right, well, let's do it later in the afternoon. Do you but want to? But if I just paint right there, then All right, all right, let's see. All right, Sophie's going to Sophie's gonna faint right here where there's no poop because they cleaned it. Oh, no, I can't do that. Aww. That dog eats poop. Ah! It was And you're stronger than me. Yeah, because you're weak, Gabby. So I also cut all the grass around the barn. I'm going to figure out, I'm going to move this stuff. When are we going to, maybe we can finish our poles today. Does that sound like a plan? You can. I think that's what we're going to do. Those are the poles that are finished. So lastly, I wanted to show you something else that we've been working on. It's not completely finished, but I know that you guys understand when things are not completely finished and don't care. So May, the end of May in Ontario is our planting season. You guys know last year we had a garden and it went really, really well. Um, it was the first time we dug up this area and it was really hard to keep the weeds down. Anyway, I had Sam clear it again, rototill it and get it ready. It's not completely ready. I have to go through and rake out all the weeds that he cut. Did clear most of the of the area where I put my garden is so sandy. So there's so much amazing dirt in here. I just have to go through and rake it and get out all the weeds. So um this is a big weekend for us. I do plan to plant my garden, which is super exciting. Who remembers our garden from last year? We had a whole lot of tomatoes and I had to give some to my friend so that she could make salsa because I made so much tomato sauce and we still had way too many tomatoes. But it was so super fun. Oh, so that is the morning done. We're gonna eat and then I'm gonna show you a couple other projects that I hope to get done today. She has a question for you first. Okay, you guys have to answer in the comments. Okay, answer in the comments. What is your favorite kind of drink? What's your favorite kind of drink? Yours is water. What's yours? Coffee. Iced coffee. While I like me an iced coffee, water is my favorite drink too. And I'm craving water right now. So I got the chickens all fed and watered. Look at that little one right there. Yeah, we know. We know. You have two babies and you don't want anybody touching them. So Mama and her babies all clean and fresh. We cleaned them yesterday and gave them fresh water and food today. See, that's the feeder that I was telling you guys about. See the little holes that they have to dig through? Well, for some reason, it was full still, but I don't know. She doesn't like it all the time. She wanted, she needed her babies to have fresher food, so I gave them fresher food. <laughs> She's such a good mama. She protects them and keeps them safe from us. <laughs> and these chickens all got fresh bedding yesterday as well. And fresh food and water today. But I can see that their water is already covered in food. I'm going to have to separate the food from them. From the water more. Chickens are messy. Like every single day we have to do a massive clean out. <laughs> They're fun to watch though. Comment below, what is your favorite chicken? If you've been following along and you know what all of our chickens look like, what's your favorite one? Do you like the little tiny baby ones? Do you like this crazy one with the crazy hair and the crazy colors? I hope it's a girl. Or do you like that one that looks like a swan? Look at her, she looks like a swan, you guys. With her feathers all puffed out. That is gorgeous. I like her. She is my favorite girl. She's a giant chicken cross. She's crossed with a giant chicken. Or do you like the little baby black ones? Or do you like the frizzles? Which are always together and always looking frizzled, frazzled. I wanted to name them Frizzle and Frazzle, but Sophie voted me out. Or do you like the little totally white ones? It is grooming time. We came at grooming time. Or do you like that coaching at the back there? That's a coaching. That's our coaching girl. She's a standard coaching right now. Our coachings are, are um, a bantam breed of coaching. Or do you like this girl that almost went with the roosters, 
But then at the last minute I realized she was a hen and I rescued her and brought her home. Comment below which chicken is your favorite if you're into the chickens. Remember? Remember when this little one was my favorite one? It looks totally different now. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. This is under our step. Don't touch it yet, Sophie, until I get it on camera. Sophie's gonna poke it. You poke the I'm snake. Poke it out so I can go catch it. Do you guys see it? There's like so many babies from this year in there. These are the new snakes. That's at least two babies. Oops. Okay, can I poke them? So I need to evict them. I don't want to kill them. I don't want them living at our house. The problem is, is that they live in the garden under and underneath the step. And so it's hard for me to get in here and pull out weeds. It is hours later, you guys, and I cut all the grass around the house. And it took a long time. Sam came home early from work because their computers were down. Like, I picked the wrong career, you guys. When I was younger, I love a job that you get to go home if stuff isn't working. Anyway, he got to come home and he cut all this stuff here behind me and all the way down, all the way down to the barn and, or all the way down to the outdoor arena because it's supposed to rain tomorrow, which really sucks. And also, it's almost like tradition that it rains on our long weekend. This is our like first long weekend of summer and everybody wants to go camping and it's always rainy and wet and cold, but it's okay, you guys. It's okay. We're just going to make the best of it. We knew the weather ahead of time. We cut all the grass early. We're headed to the barn now. None of our friends can come to lessons tonight. Is Elizabeth still not coming, Sophie? Elizabeth's coming. Oh, Elizabeth is coming? Yeah, she just texted me. She said, Sophie, 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 Sophie. I can go, I can go. I can oh go. good, she was going to miss it again. And then Barn Boots is missing their lesson tonight too. And so it's just going to be us and I was going to be lonely, but we get Elizabeth, yes. All right, so Finn. <laughs> Woo! So Finn is playing with his friend. Wait, his See, he kicks like that, but with me on his back. You get it? Look, we found, yes, but look at we found Chino's fly mask in the field. Just looks like a regular fly mask. Feel the, feel the ears. Feel it. No. <laughs> you know what's in there though? No. It's full of rocks. <laughs> like how does a horse get How, <laughs> how does that happen? And look, it's full. Chances looking nice. Yeah, chances, I know. He's like every time we come, fatter and fatter. But honestly, with all this, all these rocks and stuff in here, it's like Chino took it off, stomped on it, and tried to hide it under the ground, fill it with rocks so we could never find it again. And he ripped the, uh, the ear. Finn was playing in the field with his pasture mate. Totally different than when he's with Chino. When he's with Chino, he's so quiet. Even Elizabeth was like, wow, he's gaining weight. Like, you can really, like, 
You can just tell so much. Someone on our TikTok today said it will be nice when you're done drugging Chance. And I was like, wow, they think he's so calm that he's been drugged. Like that's how calm our boy is. People think he's drugged. Like that's amazing. Holy heck, like people think he's so calm that he's drugged. Like that is so amazing. Because so many other people said that thoroughbreds are crazy and need a lot of, yeah, some people. Yeah, only some thoroughbreds, but his age and stuff, that he's going to be crazy. And he's so not, to the point well, that people crazy. think he's drugged. And I think that's, like, so amazing. Are you drugged? No. But why, we, we why would you guys drug him? We don't. He doesn't need it. That's the whole point. We would never buy a horse that she could only ride if we, if we drugged him. He's perfect. I know. Yeah. He really is perfect. He's, he's so... Redhead, look at even his way. cheeks are filling in. Like Elizabeth saw him and said, Whoa, like you've been getting chubby. He's getting fatter. We need you fatter. Yeah. Keep yeah. Fatter. So, anyways, Sophie just brought him in. We're early for lessons, but you guys know. Brandon wants her to continue her journey. Yeah. Brandon wants her to continue her learning with other horses. So, she rides him once in a lesson. And then she rides him whenever we're here alone. And then she rides another horse once in a lesson. So that was the agreement that we made um, when we when we said we would lease him is that she has to continue like riding lesson horses as well because she's learning so much and growing so much. Are you guys gonna go get Denver? Are you guys gonna go get Denver? Sophie picked out his feet. Uh, uh, because that's what friends do. They crack each other's oh, fingers. Crack? How do you not crack? I always go like this, put them behind my hand to crack. Wait. Okay. I do that too. It hurts. You're so cracked. This I, can't, I, don't know, I don't know how people crack their fingers. I like get gross when I want to hear the pop. Okay. Wait. What the hell? You, know, <laughs> I do the same you guys can't do that? No, my I don't know how too, to. Just quiet. It's just, it's just air. Don't do it. It's gas bubbles. It. <laughs> this is. <laughs> Did, <you feel> like... <laughs> ah! <laughs> Did it hurt? No. no. It just scared me. Well, it doesn't scare me, but it's. Yeah, I like it. I like the feeling of it. Okay, go get your horse and I'll brush this boy. They look so clean in the stall. And then you take them out in the sun and you're like, oh, shoot. But he looks clean. Super clean. And dusty. There it is. Today's 27th part. Don't you know that you're